Hey guys, Marsling in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we are jumping into the Pure Saiyans stage of Super Battle Road to show off the Dark Mask King and Black Mask Saiyan rotation. I do have both of them at full level 10 links so this is definitely going to be an interesting showcase of their abilities. So uh, Black Mask Saiyan is in the final slot so I guess we will keep our man here ready for the next rotation um, grab these for you um, as you can see I'm basically running a full Vegeta family crossover team so here's one of the best leader skills to run these two guys under on the pure Saiyan stage and then of course the dark Mars Saiyan oh sorry black Mars Saiyan does require three other crossover allies in order to fully maximize his passive so we've got the Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, we've got the Xeno Base Form Vegeta, who is a Vegeta family support unit, um, and then obviously the Dark Mask King himself, and of course STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, one of the OG like crossover units technically, and uh, very much an MVP for Super Battle Road. So this team actually very good. Um, I'm not going to use an item here in turn 1. Let's see how we can make out. So, Dark Mask King, of course, gets that defense buff after he takes the first hit. Um, but even so, he took less than 10k. And then as soon as that full part of his passive procs, uh, he takes double digit damage. How much is he going to take from this? 42k from a type disadvantage super attack on Super Battle Road. That is, uh, that is very good. <laughs> And of course, they both lower attack on their super. Uh, Dark Mask King also heals based on the damage that he does. Um, so the two of them, once we get them paired up, they're going to be very, very good on this uh, Super Battle Road run. And then Xeno Vegeta here, he does raise his defense on super attack. Um, but yeah, I was going to say type disadvantage, he probably takes a fair bit of damage. And then unfortunately, yeah, he isn't going to tank a super very well, but... <laughs> There we go. So we can go ahead and put uh, you here so you can tank all of this. We'll go for the stun on Goten. And then we will grab all of these for you. And then it's not quite the 18 key super. Neither is that. Okay, so we can't get the 18 key super with Super Saiyan 4. Vegeta so I'm gonna go ahead and I, I want to see the Marseillans rotation without items again so I'll use the princess snake here since it only lasts for one turn uh, hopefully we do get the stun on Goten because we couldn't get the 18 key super for Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, uh, Vegeta so he's not going to have his full potential defense there we go because at least he has type advantage against the trunks right so Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta getting the additional super attack you see the huge jump up there in his attack stat because he's now attacking a stunned enemy and then Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta hitting a 2.4 million attack stat pretty good um, obviously those two going super well together because they have all of the Super Saiyan 3 links and uh, both of them are rainbow for me as well they are two units that I haven't really linked leveled. The STR one, I, I don't think I've linked leveled him at all. Whereas the Xeno Super Saiyan 3, um, I've done a few. I've had him on the team for a fair few link level runs. So we'll double check his uh, links when we get around to the rotation again. But obviously, uh, Dark Mask King and Black Mask Saiyan are both at full level 10 links. Uh, Goten is stunned. So let's see we heal based on the damage we do yeah we probably should still just take out trunks first why not so we'll do that and then let me grab these to drop down these str orbs and then we can give all of those to vegeta so he can actually get his uh 18 key super attack so double digit damage from the uh dark mask king even though we got type disadvantage uh, Super Battle Road is obviously a really good setting to showcase these guys because when we did the actual level 10 links showcase we were in an event where we couldn't lower the enemy's attack for most of the event whereas obviously in Super Battle Road lowering the enemy's attack is not only possible but is incredibly useful. So having these two guys on rotation together not only do they link up super well they do immense damage they both lower attack so really really good and a very strong rotation for this team. Obviously, when we get the actual Vegeta family category stage, um, I definitely feel like those two could be a rotation that would be really good to run. 
Um, same with this one, to be honest. I mean, the Xeno Vegeta is not as good of a tank as uh, the STR one or even potentially the uh, AGL Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. Obviously, we couldn't bring him on this run because this is the pure Saiyan stage, but we would be able to bring him on the um, Vegeta family one. But obviously, Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is all about the offense. I mean, you saw him there hitting a 3 million attack stat with the support from the base form Xeno Vegeta on rotation. So that is uh, really, really good. So as long as we don't take a super attack in the first slot from Gohan there, Dark Mask King is obviously going to get his uh, passive to go off, up his defense, and then he should be fine for the rest of the turn. Um, unfortunately, no 18 key super potential again here, which is a little bit unfortunate. We're going to be one key short again. Are you kidding me? Um, all right, well, we won't use an item here. We'll see how we get on. We shouldn't die in this one turn. I was going to say, this is the only bad thing. So how much is this going to do? Yeah, 96k. Honestly, that's not that bad. And then because he's attacking uh, Gotenks, we have type advantage and we get the crit. So he heals 10% of the damage that he does. And then we just get another super as well. So, yeah, we just healed straight back up to full HP. <laughs> that is exactly what we want to see. And we double attack lowered go tanks as well, which is really going to help uh, Black Mask Saiyan defend here. So he's going to lower Gohan's attack. And then, of course, we're going to get super attack. So even though we've attack lowered him, this will deal quite a bit of damage. 320k. Okay. Oof. Damn, he was double attack lowered. He did 320k damage to us with a super attack. But fortunately, even though we didn't get the 18 key super for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, they were both attack lowered, so no worries there. Um, so who do we want to go after here? Let's go for... Let's go for Stunning Gohan, just because Xeno Vegeta is probably the weaker tank of everyone that we have on this particular rotation, so... Um, we're going to not be able to get the 18 key super again, are we? Because we can't connect those reds on either side together. Um, so let's do this. Yeah, unfortunately not. So let's go ahead and what should we do here item wise? Um, might as well just use the Android 8, I guess. And then... I suppose it doesn't really matter either way. Uh, I'll avoid the same type orbs for now just so we can um, not push the Dokon mode up too quickly. Because I think we should be able to get through this stage without having to use the Dokon attack. Um, which then obviously is going to help out. Plus of course the enemies are both attack lowered. So I mean, you know, even though he's not the best tank, Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta shouldn't take too much damage here from the uh, Gohan. And we are going to... Yeah, double digits, okay. And of course, uh, we do have the off chance. Oh, well, it didn't happen, just as I was going to say it. Uh, we do have the off chance of getting the 30% chance to counter a super attack from um, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. But sadly, it was not to be. Um, so, we will... Let's give you another attack lower. And then we will do the same for Gotenks. Because we are going to have type advantage with the Dark Mask King. We should get a very significant amount of healing here. And then Xeno Vegeta in the final spot should be perfectly fine to tank from Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Because he's supered a, a couple of times now. So his defense should be decent. And he has type advantage. <laughs> Level 3 dodge coming in for uh, Black Mask Saiyan there. Which is not really needed because he's taking double digit damage. And then the Dark Mask King is going to heal us up to full HP here as well. So, yeah, very, very good. I think with the right RNG, because we got unlucky uh, early on with where we took some super attacks. I definitely think with the right RNG, this team could easily know items this stage. I mean, obviously, we've done the, uh, we've done the uh, Pure Saiyans no items run a little while ago. But this team definitely could do that. So... I think the uh, Vegeta family stage is going to be very straightforward for the no items run uh, when those stages come out. And um, yeah, honestly, I might use this rotation of these two new heroes, uh, Master Saiyans, because they work so well together. Um, and of course you survive that. Well, why wouldn't you? 
So we will avoid same type orbs here. <laughs> so we'll go for the stun on Gohan. Finish off um, Go Tanks with you, and then hmm. We can't get the 18 key super either way, so I guess we might as well just do this. I don't want to risk getting the Dokkan attack, especially when we're so close to being at the end of this fight. It would be very unfortunate to get it now. So, But yeah, Gotenks, you can go ahead and super attack Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta here. He's not going to take much damage. Of course, Gotenks super attacks when he survived with the tiniest sliver of health. That's the uh, typical thing we would expect from Super Battle Road. So... Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta finishing off Gotenks, and we get the additional super attack as well. So, nice bit of extra damage. Oh, yeah, so actually we just uh, take out Gohan here. Or not, because we didn't get the super attack. Okay. Ah, good meme. Um, yeah, I guess rather than risk the possibility of a super attack in slot one, let's just do this. <laughs> we'll just finish him off with the uh, final shine attack here, so then we can go into the final fight. And this works out well uh, for the strategy side of things, because it means we go into the last fight with the uh, STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta rotation. Um, I've talked about this a lot in the no item runs, because it's really important for those. Not so much for these, like, fun runs because, you know, there's not really much chance of us losing in general. But um, going into a f new fight with the specific rotation is sometimes really, really important. Um, so, like I say, not so much here, but obviously uh, it's going to help out a huge amount. So, we definitely need to stun you because you could potentially do quite a lot of damage to uh, the Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Um, so I think what I'll do is I am going to go ahead and use an Icarus because I know from doing this stage enough that if that um, Vegeta Jr. does actually super attack Xeno uh, Vegeta, like he doesn't get stunned, uh, we probably would die with no item active because these two do quite a lot of damage. And yes, we managed to not get the Dokkan attack. So Dokkan attack next turn. Um... Now, the thing is, the Dokkan attack will definitely do more damage overall if we get it with the Black Mask Saiyan. But he doesn't get any defense until he attacks. So depending how many attacks there are in the first slot, it might change things a little bit. But we did stun uh, Vegeta Jr. So I think I think we probably should be good. We do have the Icarus active as well, though, which will still be active next turn. So I think we should actually be fine to just get it with the uh, Black Mask Saiyan. Mine is only 69%, but he's full level 10 links, so... Oh yeah, this is going to be fine. So, let's go ahead and target you. Do this. And then go after... You. Um, yeah, let's do this. I'm going to try and drop down the rainbows just to see... Okay, <laughs> still unable to get the uh, 18 key supers with Vegeta. Obviously, the team is, uh, by building this sort of crossover, like, themed Vegeta family team, we're uh, kind of leaving Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta out in the cold here in the third slot and uh, struggling to get his 18 key super thanks to the orb placements. But 2.3 million attack stat on the Black Mars Saiyan. Not insane levels but you know he's only 69 percent so i think that's pretty decent and uh yeah pretty solid amount of damage to the vegeta jr as well goku jr also pretty low um i mean the dokkan attack effect will heal us back to full anyway but dark mask king just gonna come in and uh, get that going for us double supers again means double attack lowers uh, both of these guys I did give slightly more additional than um, crit. So this shouldn't really do any damage. Yeah, 40k. That's uh, It's a shame that that happened after his supers, which obviously do heal us. But this was the Dokkan attack turn. So we'll be at full health at the start of the next turn anyway. Oh, and Vegeta going to come in with the additional 12 key super as well. So he's just going to take out... Um, Goku Jr. here, and then we can move on to uh, 
Oh, wow. He actually didn't take him out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. All right. So, you can stun you, hopefully. Um, and then, I guess we'll have to just get you to finish off him. And then, yeah, I guess we'll just do this. No 18 key super again. Rip. Let's see. Can Vegeta come through with the stun again? He didn't. Oh, okay. So, if uh, Vegeta Jr. super attacks Xeno Vegeta here, that would be real bad. Let's, uh, let's hope that that does not occur. Because we're going to take, what, 49k from the normals. That's not too bad, actually. But, yeah, super attack from him, I think, easily probably does 300k to uh, Xeno Vegeta on this stage. So... Definitely uh, a good thing that we can avoid that, but oh look at this. Look at this. Perfect. Dark Mask King in slot one. Xeno Vegeta in slot three. So Dark Mask Wow, well, Dark Mask King has 220k defense. Um and in a moment he's gonna get hit once by Vegeta Jr. And then his defense is gonna jump up to 440k because he gets a 100 percent defense increase when he takes that first attack so yeah his defense is going to be 440,000 that's uh that's that's pretty good <laughs> so uh yeah this should be gg here this should be the uh final turn um obviously we're going to get the heal back to full here and then the black marseille with his type advantage should hopefully come in <clears throat> with the w so this shouldn't really do any damage, right? Yeah, 24k. <laughs> 3.1 million attack stat for the Black Marseillean. Very, very good. Gets the crit. And it is KO to Vegeta Jr. So there you go. Pretty good run. Um, unfortunate early on with some of the super attack placement. So we did have to use a bunch of items quite early. Um, so at that point, like I've said this in multiple videos before. As soon as you use an item... I don't really care how many we end up using after that. So we dropped a few items just to ensure that we didn't die near the end. But yeah, very, very solid run. These two guys, excellent on Super Battle Road. And like I say, I think they will be an MVP rotation once we get the Vegeta family stage. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think of these guys down below in the comments section. How did your heroes summons go if you did go in on the banner? Um, I'm a bit disappointed I only pulled... The one extra copy of Black Marseille. I think I pulled Dark Mask King like 13 times in total or something stupid like that. So would have preferred some of them to be uh, the Black Marseille, but there you go. <laughs> so that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the link to my Discord in the description. Feel free to join in the fun down there. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.